Hello. Today we like to present our work about omnidirectional galvanic vestibular stimulation, short GVS, in virtual reality to prevent cyber sickness in real-world moving camera scenes. Although VR-related technology is not new, it is still growing in relevance and acceptance on the market. However, many users often perceive negative feelings along the VR experience. This is a phenomenon known as cyber sickness, which seems to rely mostly on a mismatch between the visual and vestibular perception. As an example, people that observe movements in an immersive VR environment but do not feel them since they sit still in a chair will most likely get sick. A common way to minimize this mismatch is to reduce the perceived optical flow, but this may unfortunately lead to a diminished feeling of presence within the VR environment. Our approach differs as it brings the vestibular perception into line with the perceived motions. For this, the mentioned GVS uses low currents with an overall maximum of up to 2.5 mA to stimulate the vestibular system. GVS is widely used in medicine and safe when used with care. Vestibular stimulation is based on the OVR model that uses 5 electrodes, 2 on the mastoids, 1 on the forehead and 2 on the neck. Two different methods of GVS stimulation were tested. The first stimulates only the main rotation axis present in the participant's field of view, while the other stimulates the exact rotation axis using interpolated currents. As the level of cyber sickness that arises in a VR experience depends on the intensity of the perceived motion, we adapt the intensity of the stimulation dynamically according to the angular velocities in the panoramic video and look direction of the participants. The angular velocities were measured by a gyroscope while recording the panoramic video. The conducted experiment explores a scene displaying panoramic videos of which the user has no control. Of course, as is the nature of panoramic videos, the participants can look around freely in the video at any time. Every person has a different sensibility regarding currents. Therefore, an individual maximal current was calibrated prior to the first session which was then used during all sessions to ensure the participants' well-being. The conditions covered the two explained GVS methods and a sham session used as a comparison. Furthermore, a counterbalanced in-between participants' design of all conditions was used. Along with that, the currently applied condition was hidden to the participants for all three sessions. The results state the high capability of 3D GVS to mitigate cyber sickness in VR scenes with real-world content. With both GVS methods, over half of the initial cyber sickness was removed, while the user's feeling of comfort significantly increased. A main difference between the two GVS methods can be seen for the time the participants were willing to stay in the VR environment. During stimulation with the interpolated currents, they stayed significantly longer and felt a greater sense of comfort. Altogether, we are confident that 3D GVS offers a meaningful extension for VR applications able to achieve significant improvements of the virtual experience. Thanks for watching.